The origins of quantum filtration start back in the early 2000s with a, a joint venture between Clive Hawkes and uh, his Japanese partner Keizo Suzuki. In the early days of water treatment, they used gluconite and zeolite uh, and green sand to remove heavy metals out of groundwater treatment. They've come up with a novel technology of implying through chemical infusion, applying chemicals onto silica sand, which uh, uses less chemicals uh, to do the same job. The purpose of the DMI-65 is heavy metals removal out of groundwater. Uh, particularly iron and manganese is the biggest problem worldwide. But also now we're finding the DMI also removes toxic materials like arsenic and PFAS. We're developing this facility to help us grow into the future. Water treatment as a industry is rapidly growing. The water crisis around the world is worsening and every industry needs clean water for, for processes and we need clean water for drinking. And in our old facility, we can't meet demand. In this new facility, we can go from 5,000 metric tonnes per annum right up to 25,000 metric tonnes per annum. With a high level of automation in this factory, we'll be able to run 24 hours a day. We moved to Collie 11 years ago, uh, looking for um, close proximity to our raw resource, the silica sand mine. And over, over a period of, of 11 years, we've grown our business to a, 100 countries. But we've also capitalised on the, uh, the Collie Futures Industry Fund grants. Um, it's really hard for a small business like ours to break through and, and uh, realise a dream like this to build a big facility, but we've had the help through the, the Cook Government and the South West Development Commission and Invest in Trade WA, we've secured funds for this building. What does the future hold for Quantum? We, we believe we have the lowest cost method of removing iron and manganese from groundwater. We're now able to expand our markets beyond industrial water treatment and municipal water treatment into the fields of agriculture, pharmaceutical and other industries, so the future's looking bright.